Good morning, Anita. Good morning, Vivi. Good morning, everyone. How are you? Good. How are you? Okay. Good to see you. <laughs> okay. Let's start. Start with like four rounds of Surya Namaskar. So I'm going to play the mantra. Number one. Om Mittaya Namaha. Om Ravaye Namaha. Om Surya Namaha.
Start with knee three times. Complete rotation. Okay. okay, so first asana for today, we'll do this uh, tadasana, simple tadasana. What we do is interlock your fingers, put on top of your head. As you inhale, just stretch it all the way up. Okay, and exhale, down. Inhale. Inhale. 
exhale up, exhale down, do five times, two more. And wait there for some time, maybe three seconds, last time in there. And relax. So that was Tadasana. Now second thing I'm going to do is called Tirne Tadasana. So typically make some room between your feet, like this, little wider than your shoulder. Again, interlock your fingers. As you inhale, hand goes up. And then hold your breath here. As you exhale, you bend on the right. From here, as you exhale, you bend. Inhale, come back to the center. Again, as you exhale, other side. Okay, do five times. Synchronize this with your breathing, okay? Last one. Now relax. So that was the Tadasana. The third asana we do is called uh, Kati Chakra Asana. So Kati Chakra Asana again makes a move between your feet and we have a twist. So how to do that? Just as you inhale, hand goes on the side. As you exhale, you must get a twist on your right, put left hand on your right shoulder and right hand come back and hold the waist and just twist and take a good pause inhale come back to the center again as you exhale you twist on your left take a pause come back to the center do five times exhale twist inhale center Five times. Good, good, good twisting. You know, just twist as much as you can. Last one. Now relax. So that was Kati Chakra Asana. Now next is kind of mixture of three and four. Is asana number four. Tiriya Kati Chakra Asana. Okay, so Tiriya Kati Chakra Asana. Now what you're going to do is just again interlock your fingers here. As you inhale, hand goes up again. As you exhale, you bend forward to 90 degrees from your torso to your upper body. So like this, okay. As you exhale. Then you hold your breath and then go from right to left to center and then as you inhale you get back stand upright and then drop your hand okay so that is the sequence you do it five times so again inhale hand goes up stretch exhale bend from your torso area okay don't roll bend here hold your breath right left Center, inhale, upright, exhale, drop your hand. Okay? Three more times. Inhale, hand goes up. Okay, 
two more, inhale up. Last one. Relax. Take a couple of breath. Now slowly, you know, try to develop a, um, some holding, holding the breath. Okay. If you can hold, hold your breath. If you cannot, that's fine. But you can hold your breath, breath like this one. You know, you bend down and hold your breath into it. You can hold it. If you cannot go hold it, that's fine too. But slowly try to develop that holding. The holding has a like holding called kumbhaka, right? Kumbhaka is very very important. You know. Asanas and in pranayama also. So. Okay. So that was a Tirya Kati Chakra Asana. Now, fifth one we'll do is called Meru Pratishthan. In this one, also we have to hold our breath. Little, not a long time, but very small time. What we do is again make some room between your feet. Okay. And both hands put on your like side, like this. Okay. So this is inhalation. You inhale and come back to here. Okay. Now hold your breath and then turn to your right. And then again try to hold and make 90 degrees, you know, from closer to the lower body, just bend. Inhale, come back here. Again, hold your breath, turn to your left, and then bend on your right. Okay, and then center. Okay, we'll do five times. So four more. Hold your breath, turn to the right and bend. Last one. So that was Meru Pratishthan. Okay. Asana number six, six, seven, and eight. We'll do angle pose, okay? Number six we're gonna do is Samkon Asana. It's a Samkon is what? Um, equal triangle or something? No, sorry, right angle triangle. Then we'll do three cone asana, which is double angle triangle, and three cone asana, which is uh, triangle pose. Okay. So right angle, double angle, and triple angle. We'll do all three in next three asanas. So first, uh, Samkon Asana. Samkon Asana, what you do is, you stand up right here, and you're going to go in back. Okay. Hand goes on the top, here, and then drop your wrist, okay, like this. And what you do is, you just bend forward. As you exhale, you bend forward, okay? And put your head between your hand, okay? From here, just bend, and hand should be between your hand, and just, no, 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 don't go all the way down, just here, okay? 90 degrees. Okay, and then just, just exhale. And then inhale, hand goes up again. Again, exhale, just bend. Stay there for some time. Here. Now holding your breath till the time you pause, okay? So from here again. Not gonna go all the way down. Okay? And you are bending, make a 90 degree from your lower body to upper body, from torso area. Three, two more. Last one. A 
and then sit and drop your hand. You did it once before. So it's called Sampon Asana. Okay. Now we do Dui Kon Asana. So Dui Kon Asana, again bending. Also, today, I mean, on Mondays, everything is bending. So a lot of bending we do, right? On 12 13 Asana. Okay. So next we'll do is called Dui Kon. So for Dui Kon Asana, interlock your fingers and put on your back first, right here. Okay. And here again, as you exhale, you make a dance. But when I say bending, not everything is go all the way down. Okay, just bending means just 90 degree here. Okay, so as you exhale, you bend here again. And inhale, hand goes up. As high as you can. Again, exhale, hand goes down. And then inhale, come back to this position. Okay, so we'll do five times. So number two, again, as you exhale. Inhale, hand goes up. Exhale, hand goes down. Inhale, come back to this position. This three cone, okay? Again, third time. Two more. Last one. Now relax. Now make sure you are doing uh, the synchronization with your breath. Okay? As you slowly exhale, you bend, slowly inhale, come back. It's just you know, that way you can also do deeper, deep exhalation, deep inhalation. Okay. Okay. That was a uh, uh, sorry, three cone, right here. Yeah. A uh, three cone asana, asana number eight. Make some room between your feet. So this one also we're gonna hold the breath, but while you hold your breath, you have to prepare yourself for the bending. Okay, so always remember that. And how to prepare that I'm gonna tell you. So as you inhale, hand goes on the side like this. So come, and, and then hold your breath and prepare. Prepare means put your right foot forward like this, you know. And then just bend it like a barrier position, okay? Like this. And then, then, then you exhale and bend like this. And one hand touching the floor, other hand parallel to the floor. Okay. And then inhale and come back to this one. Inhale and hold your breath again here. Prepare yourself for the bending. And here, other side, then again bend other side. And see if you can touch the floor from the other hand. Inhale, come back here. Again, prepare. Bend. And balance yourself. Two more. Last one. Okay, now relax. So that was three cones. We did some cone, three cone, and three cone. Now next to asana is uh, we try to squat, sit down. First is called a Drut Utkat Asana and then next is Uthan Asana. The Drut Utkat Asana, just imagine a chair behind you and you are trying to sit, okay? We'll do five times 
And every time you sit, you try to go a little down, little down, little down. Okay, this is the chain is going lower and lower and lower. You do five times. So how to start from here? First, you know that this pranam asana, hand goes up. Folded hand, go up. So from here, as you exhale, you just try to sit in the chair. Let's go a little down. Chair is high this time. Sitting here. Inhale up. Again, next time. Little down. Up. You keep going down for five times. Little down. Now last time, again go down, and relax. So that, that was Groot Utkat Asana. Asana number uh, 10, right? Yeah, number 9, number 10. So asana 10 is called uh, Thana Asana. So this one, you have to sit completely squat, but not you'll be able to sit. Okay. So how you do it? <clears throat> Make some room between your feet, and and and, and the feet uh, toes pointing outwards like this. Okay. And hand just loosely, just in front of you like this. And we'll try to sit five times. So on the fifth time, go all the way down and see if you can touch the back of your palm to the floor, see if you can touch it, okay? So do it five times. So every time you want to try to sit down, but fifth time, we have to sit down completely, okay? So from here, knees bend a little bit. As you exhale, just try to sit down. A little bit, now inhale, up. Again, as you exhale, go down a little more. Third time, a little more. Fourth time. Okay, now fifth time. Fifth time, go all the way down. You stay there for five seconds, okay? And touch the back of the hand to the floor. <coughs> so as you exhale, you sit. And then be there for five seconds. And touch your hand to the floor. I'm going to count here. So five, four, three, two, one, and you sit down. And slowly you come. Okay, now relax. So that was <coughs> asana number ten, uthana asana. Now next two are kind of swinging pose. So first is called pendulum. Second is called uh, what's it called? There's one more before we do the pendulum. Next is Bandha Hast Uthanasana. Okay, simple one. So Bandha Hast Uthanasana, what do you do? Cross your hand like this here. As you inhale, hand goes up. Exhale, hand goes on the side. Inhale up again. Exhale all the way down and cross your hand again. Okay. So do five times. Inhale, hand all the way go up. Side again, inhale up, cross, exhale down, cross three more times. Last one. Okay, now the next. So that was asana number 11. Bandha Hast Uthan Asana. Okay. Now next two is swinging pose. <coughs> so first is called pendulum asana, dodan asana. So Donan Asana, you are basically swinging like a pendulum. So what you do is make some room between your feet like this. 
hand goes on the back of your head like this. So from here, what you do is, you, as you exhale, you just go all the way down. Try to touch your face with the knee, like you know, that position. And then you hold your breath. Again, if it's okay, to, if you can hold, then hold. General one who hold, that's fine too. Then you swing like a pendulum from right to left to right to left to right to left. You do three times. And then you inhale and come back to this position. So while you are swinging, you have to hold your breath. Okay, try to do this from here. As you exhale, you bend on your right. Then left, right, left, right, left, right. Then come back to the center. As you inhale, you come back here. Okay. <clears throat> exhale, bend, inhale, come back five times. Swing. Last one. Okay, now relax. So that was Dhola Nasana, Pendulum. Now last asana for today is a, uh, what's called? It's called Uthita Lolasana. Uthita Lolasana. Okay. Again, uh, make some movement between your feet. So this side, let's move back. Hand goes on the up, like this, straight up. And then drop your wrist. Okay, so drop your wrist like this. And as you exhale, you go all the way down, and this hand is kind of loosely swinging between both your legs. Okay. So from here, as you exhale, and this is loosely, like you know, do it three times. And then inhale and up. Exhale, bend, hold, swing, inhale, come back. That is the sequence. From here, as you exhale. Five times. One more. And relax. <coughs> Quickly, let's do one more, you know, the that punishment asana is like uh, cut better Ram, I don't know what's the name. Um, so in a straight squat, like in a punishment that you get in India at a school, you kind of similar to that. Let's first check everyone, what is your active sora? So you know how to check your active sora, right? Which nostril is more dominant this morning? So check. Right. <clears throat> okay. So what you do is, you know, from your left hand, Hold your right ear low. Okay. Left hand, hold your right ear low. Right hand, other ear, top of the ear. Okay. So one lower, one top. Like a you know, electrical circuit. So complete the circuit. And then we'll do it like do 10 times, put her back, sit, sitting and up, uh, coming back. Okay. So as you exhale, inhale up 10 times. Last one. Okay. And now relax. That was after number 14. Now take few breaths, relax, and sit down. Yeah. Let's take some. 
So sit in Bajrasana. Today let's do yoga mudra, so yoga mudra, not the manduka, let's do yoga mudra bend knees. Yoga mudra, how you do is just put your wrist, hold your wrist on the back. Okay. Then basically you exhale and bend. Okay. And then just hold your breath for some time, whatever is comfortable. Then you inhale and come back to this position. Okay. Just one time from here as you exhale. And look forward. Okay. Now relax. Now we'll do the pranayam. So we'll start with uh, Kapal Bhati. Okay, so last time we did Bhastrika, I guess. So let's do Kapal Bhati. I'm going to start the metronome and we'll do three rounds of Kapal Bhati. Okay. And first round is like. Uh, you spread your hand like this, thumb pointing upward, like this, okay? And then just um, forced exhalation. In Kapal Bhati, just forced exhalation. You don't focus on, in, uh, fo uh, inhalation is passive. Okay, so let's do it. Okay, now relax. Now for the next round, hand goes up like this, okay? And then we'll do the same thing. Let's start. Last time, this time drop your hand to your head, okay, and then do it. Same thing. Not relax. Now today we are do something different about the pranayam. Okay, so if you sitting in Vajrasana, sit in um, uh, Sukhasana. Okay, or whatever uh, sitting asana is comfortable to you. If you sit in Ardhasiddhasana, that's uh, best. Okay, so this is Ardhasiddhasana. Okay, so today what we'll do is you know we'll do only two pranayam. Okay, but we'll do with the audio. I have an audio for that. They'll guide you how to do it. So two pranayama I'm going to do is, uh, first is uh, uh, 
alternate nostril breathing a second is brahmani but we are not going to do the alternate nostril breathing alone below the way we do it this time all you have to do is imagination okay you have to inhale exhale deeply but just imagining that you are inhaling from the left exhaling from the right inhaling from the right exhaling from the left so you just do do normal breath deep breath but imagination only no hand uh, mudra and all okay just and uh, i'm going to put the audio they'll they'll guide you through this so that is the first asana uh, thing we'll do and second uh, is brahmari so brahmari you all know again we brahmari we are not doing the mudra sanamukhi mudra we are not doing the sanamukhi mudra the way we do it we we'll just uh, block your, our ear so when you block just press little little harder so that you don't hear anything and then uh, and, and eyes and everything is closed anyway right so that the idea is clear in brahmari we close all our openings there are six opening on your face right you have to close all our opening and then you utter the sound mm, hum, humming the sound five times okay so just listen to the sound uh, audio guide you know and they'll walk you through the whole thing okay so we do two pranayam and uh, i'm just going to put the audio for it it's very nice i just find out two days ago so i'm going to do this is called pranayam capsule hari om tat sat okay hari om tat sat hari om tat sat now we are going to practice simple breathing techniques or pranayamas to help release the cerebral mental and emotional stress anxiety insecurity and tension Sit down comfortably for some time, either on the floor or on a chair, or you can even stand against the wall and become comfortable in the pose in which you are. Adjust your body so that for a few minutes you are not distracted by anything physical. become comfortable once you have chosen a comfortable posture for yourself observe the natural flow of breath you can keep the eyes open or you can keep the eyes closed but maintain unflinching awareness of the incoming and outgoing breath in the nostrils see the flow experience the flow of breath in the nostrils gradually breathe slowly and deeply remain comfortable breathing slow and deep should not cause any discomfort remain within the boundaries of your comfort breathe slow and deep and imagine that when you inhale the breath is coming in through the left nostril and when you exhale the breath is going out through the right nostril again when you breathe in the breath enters through the right nostril and at the time of exhalation it exits through the left nostril This practice is known as alternate nostril psychic breathing. Although you are breathing in through both the nostrils, you have to imagine 
you have to visualize, you have to feel the flow of breath. In each nostril at the time of inhalation and exhalation. Imagine that the breath comes in through the left nostril, the breath goes out through the right nostril. The breath comes in through the right nostril, the breath goes out through the left nostril. The breath comes in through the left nostril, the breath goes out through the right nostril. The breath comes in through the right nostril. The breath goes out through the left nostril. And in this manner, continue with the practice of alternate nostril psychic breathing. The breath is gentle, slow, long and deep. You are visualizing the flow of breath in one nostril, out the other. Now, deepen the experience of breath by observing the temperature of air as you breathe in and breathe out inside the nostrils. When you are breathing in, at that time, sensation of breath is cool. When you breathe out, you feel the warm sensation. Again, breathing in, you feel the cool sensation. And breathing out, you feel the warm sensation. In through left, cool sensation. Out through right, warm sensation. In through right, cool sensation. Out through left, warm sensation. Deepen the breath awareness. Deepen the experience of breath. Now, stop this practice. Bring your hands to your ears and place the palms over the ears so you do not hear any outside sound. Block out all the sounds. And then take a deep breath in and while breathing out, hum. Again, breathe in, and while breathing out, hum. Again, breathe in, and while breathing out, hum.
now, when you complete the five rounds of primary pranayam, bring the hands down, take five long and deep normal breaths, externalize the mind, the awareness, Hari Om Tat Sat, Hari Om Tat Sat, Hari Om Tat Sat. The Pranayam capsule is complete. Okay. So now we'll do our uh, meditation part. Okay. So we'll do the Isha Kriya. Keep sitting, not just the way we were sitting before, just sit comfortably. And I'm gonna do this. Uh, I'm gonna start a um, Isha Kriya meditation, okay? Here are the instructions. Here are the instructions. Isha Kriya instructions. Preparation. Sit in a cross-legged posture with spine comfortably erect. If needed, use a backrest, but no headrest. Doing the Kriya facing east offers extra benefits. Keep your hands upon your thighs with your palms facing upwards. With your face slightly upturned, eyes closed, keep a mild focus between your eyebrows. This meditation will happen in three stages. Stage one, inhale and exhale gently, slowly. With each inhalation, mentally say to yourself, I am not the body. The inhalation should last for the whole duration of that thought. With each exhalation, mentally say to yourself, I am not even the mind. The exhalation should last for the whole duration of that thought. Repeat this for 7 to 11 minutes. Stage 2. Utter the sound ah, seven times with mouth wide open, exhaling fully into each sound. The sound should come from just below the navel. You need not utter it very loud, but loud enough to feel the vibration of the sound. Stage three, sit for five to six minutes with a slightly upturned face and keep a mild focus between your eyebrows. The total time of this practice is between 12 to 18 minutes. You can sit longer if you wish. Please note, when you sit to do Isha Kriya, do not pay attention to the activity of the mind or body. Whatever is happening in your body or your mind, just ignore it and simply sit there. Do not take a break in between, as it will disturb the reorganization of energies that happens during the practice. The Kriya will yield maximum benefits if you do it for a minimum of 12 minutes each time. Do it twice a day for 48 days, considered as a full mandala or cycle, or once a day for 90 days. Anyone can practice this Kriya and enjoy its benefits. Simply follow the instructions without making any changes. This is a simple but very potent Kriya. You can remind yourself that I am not the body I am not even the mind, any time during the day. It would be best to use the voice in the video as a support when doing the Kriya. However, you can also do it without using the voice support. Sit in a cross leg posture and keep your hands open facing upward. Sit with your face slightly upturned. 
The moment you sit this way with a slightly upturned face, you will see naturally your focus will shift between your eyebrows. So maintain this mild focus between your eyebrows. As uh, I utter these two sentences, with inhalation, you take this thought, I am not this body. With exhalation, I am not even this mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not 
you in the mind. I'm not the body. I'm not even the mind. I'm not the body. I'm not even the mind. I'm not the body. I'm not even the mind. I'm not the body. I'm not even the mind. I'm not the body. I'm not even the mind. I'm not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I'm not even the mind. Uh. Keep your eyes closed and just sit still with your face slightly turned upward.
Thanks, Vagash. Thank you. Thank you. I'll see you again tomorrow. Yes. Thank you, Prakash. Thank you, Bridhi. And Anita. <laughs> 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 